and the other thing that I wanted to show you guys and girls is uh, the timing mark on this car here all the this teeth here this uh, this one here let me zoom in so that you can see as you can see this teeth here it's a bit different from the others so that is that is your timing uh, mark even if you put on the pulley you can still see it here on the end that is a bit different than these others and then it's going to be aligned with this small mark there so and then that means your piston the first and the fourth will be on top and on the block on the top i'll show you later also on the on the top you just need the two tools or whatever a uh, allen key or whatever a uh, uh, bolt you just stick it in into the two into the two holes that are on the top and then they can align the time the, align the timing mark and yeah that's it so this is the part two of the timing marks and uh, this is my old timing belt which is the small one that is connecting the two camshaft here and uh, you, did, you does not necessarily need to remove this two camshaft here. You just need to remove the belt by just pulling it out because it's already loosened. So, all you need to do is <coughs> just need to pull it up. Just need to pull the belt up. It's just gonna come up and then you remove it. And now I just put on my new timing belt which is this one now. The one that is, that is currently on. And if you can see inside here, my holes are aligned. I don't know if you can see. Wait a minute. Let me start with this one. You can see the first one is there. And the second one is the hole. It's here, but the camera is not focusing that well. So, yeah, but they are all aligned. As you can see, you, just, you don't need to remove the timing belt. You just need to remove the belt I mean you don't need to remove the two camshafts here you don't need to untie this one or untie this one you just need to pull it out here and then put it in from the other side and when you are putting it on you have to hold it on the teeth on this side here so that it cannot run any teeth behind or to the front forth so that's it and then it should be coming in uh, clockwise because the tensioner is going to lock here in a, in a direction where the engine is going to be running. So that's it. That's the timing procedure. And once you do that, you can put back your, your locking tools, which are whatever you are using, as long as they are into those aligned holes and in my position here as you can see i'm just using these two belts just to align it like that and this is my second hole so so that's it and once i put on the belt tensioner it will be like that it will be like that well tightened and well aligned also so thanks for your time and don't forget to like subscribe and comment